linear regression, we have seen that given a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b, we can easily determine any number of points lying on the line. We have also seen how to determine an equation for a line passing through any two distinct points x1, y1, and x, y2. In many practical applications, the goal is to do just the opposite to the greatest extent possible, that is, given a number of points, x1, y1, x2, y2, up until x, n, y, n, or the n data points, we would like to find the equation y equals mx plus b, whose graph comes closest to fitting the points. Linear regression gives us the slope-intercept form for the line whose graph minimizes the sum of the squares of the deviations between the line and the actual data points. For this reason, the specific process we use is known as the least square method. There are four steps. The first step, we are going to calculate the average of the x and the y values we call x bar and y bar respectively. Step two, calculate the delta x, which is the difference of the x and the x bar, difference of the y and the y bar, we call delta x and delta y respectively. Step three, we calculate the summation of the product of the delta x and delta y and the summation of the square of the delta x. The last step for the step four, we're going to calculate the slope m by using the summation of the product of the difference of the x and difference of the y or the summation of delta x and delta y divided by the summation of the square of the delta x. And the y is the step or the value b is calculated by y bar minus m times x bar. We call x bar and y bar are calculated in step one, which are the mean values of the x and the y values. A concept closely related to linear regression is that of correlation. Given a collection of points x1, y1, x2, y2, up until x and y n. The question of whether the collection shows a linear dependence of y on x can be asked. The Pearson correlation coefficient r is a number that allows us to answer this question objectively. And its computation is similar to the computations used in linear regression. With the linear regression notation, just introduce the formula for the Pearson Correlation coefficient is y equals summation of the product of delta x and delta y divided by the square root of summation of the square of the delta x times the square root of the summation of the square of the delta y. The number r always satisfy the inequality r greater than or equal to negative one, less than or equal to one, with R equals zero, indicating no linear dependence of y on x. The absolute value of the R close to one, indicating a strong linear dependence. R is greater than zero, corresponding to a positive slope in the line of the best fit. R is less than zero, corresponding to a negative slope in the line of the best fit. 